Hello everyone, this is 76 Demon 67. Uh, sorry for that little mix up from last time. That wasn't mission 6 we were going to do. This is mission 5. I'm so stupid. Alright, so. Can we customize? I think we can. Two more. No. Don't. Nope. Nope. Well, we can do, um, uh... Let's see. Uh... Let's do Griffin. Round Robin 2. Let's perform this. Okay, Round Robin 2. This Round Robin upgrade rains even more electric spikes on foes in the area. Okay, R1. Here we go. There we go. Alright, one more time. Here we go. Okay. Got that down. Okay, let's do combo C. The Jaguar's head just turned into a rope with spikes. Nope. Alright, we got that down. Customization, we're done with that. Now, let's start with Mission 5 The Devil Sword Sparta. Yeah, we we tried to fight. Uh, we ran off from uh, the uh, most powerful demon. I don't know what its name is. I think we're going about. I think we're going to find out soon enough. Slice 
Okay, I forgot to do one of the... Forgot how to do... To any nope, don't see any secrets. Can't move forward without breaking through these. Alright, so it looks like this big demon's trying to bring the uh, bring the place down. Looks like we're in some sort of uh, a ship dock.
Alright, we cleared that up. Uh, we can't get through there yet. Oh, nice. Here's a little secret. Break a leg. Oh, it just got hard. do I get over there? Still can't get on him. Yeah. 
Berman Empress and Pusa Queen. Uh-oh. Ouch, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Another purple orb fragment. Time to pop this bubble. It's your turn. At your turn. Hey, what's in that hole? Did we take a look? We will. Just gotta see if there's any. see any uh, any more secrets nope dead end
Ouch. Got some uh, gems I don't want to leave behind. Now get to work. by going through that hole that I will end this level. these people out of their misery. Oh yeah, it's not, they're not gems. <laughs> nope, can't get up there. Nope, nothing here. Afraid. 
fate that still concerns me. As long as there is a blood descendant of Sparta, I cannot take any chances. Do you understand? Malfus. Diabolical amalgam. Amalgam. Who is a headless horseman? Abysmal, abysmal cavalry, elder Garian knight. I see. I know what you are. Don't worry. I'll be gentle. Oh, your horse is dead. Off to glue factory. I'm fine. I must chase him. If the Devil Sword Sparta still exists, it may very well be our only hope. 
The, uh, think about this for a minute now. What will you do if you find it? You gotta be strong in mind and body to wield the Sparta, and you, sir, are neither. Hate to break it to you, but the Sparta will just be too much for you. For me, yes. But what if the boy... Nero... Piece for an upgrade, maybe? Let's go. Once we are near the Sparta, even I should be able to sense its presence. Uh, hey. All right. All right. So that's pretty good. The Devil Sword Sparta. After dodging the colossal demon above, V made rapid progress underground. Moving towards his true goal of recovering Sparta, meanwhile, back on the surface. Switch player to N Nero. All right, before we end mission five, Let's see if there's any new enemies. Nope, nothing. Impusa Queen. I knew it. Where there's worker ants, there's got to be a queen too. This big gal has got the armor to take a beating and her tools to dish out one. And when she's angry, she ain't picky about her targets. She'll sight through her own demon buddies to get to you. If that ain't enough, she'll get fired up if she sucks enough blood. Watch out if her body turns red. That's your sign that it's go time. All right. Anything else? Nothing. Elder Jerion Knight. Okay, Jerion are listed as Equus Daemonicus. In some of the oldest demonology texts, that's horse demon. To the uneducated, you keep saying, you keep keeping up, uh, th to the uneducated, you keeping up, oh, ah, you keeping up okay, sugar? I'm so sorry. I have this habit of constantly jumbling up my words when I read them out loud. All right. Anyway, seems these demons come in all shapes and sizes, but the one thing they have in common is the power to mess with time. They're also proud. This is not a horse you just jump onto and ride around. So if V's telling the truth, the way that knight was able to ride this Jerion is some mighty impressive stuff. Almost looks like a combination of part horse, part dragon. That's it for the bosses. Weapons. None. 
item reports? None? Well, for items, we were pretty much filled out. Action reports? Okay, library. Morrison Letter, Part 2. Back when Dante went by Tony Redgrave, there was this place, Bobby's Cellar, a dive infest infested with bounty hunters, would-be soldiers of fortune, and soon enough, our old pal, Tony. He'd show up from time to time like any, like any of the other punks and lowlifes looking to make a quick buck. That's the kind of place Bobby Seller was. There were plenty of guys like me around, too. Every one of us knew to make the rounds to the joints and peddle our information like precious gems. Most importantly, getting those jobs covered... Yeah, covered kept the cash flowing in. You better believe uh, old Tony made me a pretty penny. Still... That guy was always broke as a bottle of wine. He'd end up busting his guns on every job. Sure, it all makes sense now, but at the time, I was dumbfounded. I asked myself, what kind of shots is this guy packing to break a pair of pistols on every single job? This old gunsmith in the neighborhood was always going to giving him an earful. Normal pieces must be like a pair of pop guns to a guy like you, huh, Tony? Eventually, he got wise uh, that he'd never make a solid payday at this rate. So he got the old lady to design a pair of pistols just for him. You guessed it, she ending up introducing Dante to his old pals, Ebony and Ivory. But wouldn't you know it, she died just as soon as the job was finished. Well, more like she was killed. I never figured out who did it I, either. I was out of town on a big job myself at the time, you see? But Tony, no, Dante. He knew from the sound of it. One of the thoughts... One of the toughs from his regular haunt said that after she passed, he went off somewhere with the most crestfallen look he'd ever seen. That's the last anybody would ever see of old, of Tony Redgrave at Bobby Seller. Keep profile no document. Interest, International Gunsmith Directory. Still, when it comes to crafting beautiful guns, Nell Goldstein is the only one who can be called a master. Nell's weapons are works of art. They are not adorned with unnecessary ornamentation, nor do they sacrifice functionality for, for form. Rather, Nell's creations are honest, pure pieces with simple and elegant designs. This is the beauty that Nell puts into her craft. Her obsession was 45 caliber weapons, and she crafted all sorts of the new designs, earning her the nickname the 45 caliber virtuoso. Unfortunately, Nell Goldstein lost her life in an unfortunate accident a few years ago. She left behind a daughter. Though the two were estranged at the time of Nell's passing, more than a few gun enthusiasts, this author included, must be hoping that Nell's daughter inherited her mother's techniques. Alright, story... Jukebox unlocked anything else? Nope, that's it.
Alright, so before we move on to mission 6, this is the end of mission 5. Stay tuned for more um, uh, demon slaying. For more Devil May Cry 5. This is 76 Demon 67. Goodbye.